Good morning, everybody. Welcome to The Andy Show. Andy here with an update for Thursday, April 22nd. And as you can see, we have a new stock here. They just got the wire and were able to purchase a few shares. Of course, they'll be closed tomorrow and Saturday. So we'll see this number increase on uh, Sunday, hopefully, if they're able to purchase stocks. We currently have a, a balance of a little over 60 million dinar to purchase more stocks. This is a very expensive stock, 77 dinar, almost 78 dinar each. And it has been well into the 80 dinar range in the recent past. So hopefully we're getting it at a discounted rate just a little bit. We do have a total share count of 182,432,815 shares. Our current net asset value is 1,817,477,795 dinar. And a total increase over our cost of uh, 426,621,567 dinar. Like I said, this will be changing over the next few days as we add to our Babylon Hotel stocks. The unrealized profit loss, we're sitting at 65% for Bank of Baghdad, 68% for Gulf Commercial Bank, a little over 1% on Al Mansur Bank, 13% on Asia Telecom. We are just a hair negative because of the price change yesterday. It dropped, so we're hoping to take advantage. Maybe it'll drop a little bit more and we'll be back on the upside once it starts going back up. We are up 88% on our Munser Pharmaceutical, 62% on IBSD for a total average gain of 32.33%. Like I said, we will continue to add to Babylon Hotel. I'd like to get up to about somewhere between 5 and 10 million on this one if, big if, we have time will continue as long as there is no change in the rate for the Iraqi dinar. Once we hit either 5 or 10 million on this, we will be adding yet another stock. I've been talking to my brokers and they tried to get me to buy a different bank stock than what I have here. And I just told them we wanted a bigger variety of industry types and that adding another bank was just not going to work for us at this time. But BCOI is on the horizon and it's currently up quite a bit. They're paying extremely good dividends for 2020. So we'll keep adjusting and adapting to their markets as we can and like I said we're our total dinar value one billion eight hundred seventeen million four hundred seventy seven thousand seven hundred and ninety five dinar that is just beyond remarkable over what I expected to do when I started this business share wise we're at 182 million I thought if we could just get to a hundred million that would be incredible. So we're far outpacing my expectations. I hope we're outpacing yours as well. Uh, we have just under 11,500 blocks out right now. And like I said, that number grows each day, but 11,500 into this. Let's just take a look here and see what that would bring us. If we've got 1,817,477,795, and we divide that by the number of blocks, currently just 
just under 11,500 is 158,041 dinar per block. And we divide that by the 1450 and we are looking at roughly $109 per block. So we are currently ahead of the game because one thing you got to consider and remember when you're doing these figures, there is a fee to convert dinar or US dollars to dinar when we send over to the account. And there's also a 1% purchase fee. Uh, when we buy stocks, we're paying 1% in cost to purchase those dinars or sell them or whatever. There's a transaction fee of 1%. So there's a lot of expense that if we took all the funds that were actually sent over there and we realized 100%, this would be quite a bit higher but there are fees and things that are coming out of that. So it's, it's really hard to get down to a science, but again, this is not what we're looking at. Even though we are ahead, considerably ahead, we are still not where we want to be with a rate change. So once that rate change comes in, it's just going to be absolutely phenomenal for us, I hope. And I guess that's what we're all hoping for. But anyway, there you have it, the update for Thursday, April 22nd. I will also get the this posted on our blog so that you don't have to refer back to the video if you don't want to, but you'll be able to see this area right here in the in the blog, okay? So that's it for now. I hope you all have a wonderful day. God bless everybody, and let's just keep praying that something happens soon. Adios.